Hello YouTube. I want to show you one very basic way that you can use bits of trunking like this. It can obviously have a lot of cosmetic benefits hiding away various cables and wires around the house. I'm actually using it to try and give a little bit more life to a couple of cables in my kitchen. Uh, I've got a new friend as you can see and I do plan on letting him have a little bit of a run around here every now and then. Well, I've got various exposed cables like this and it's not going to take him five minutes to get through that. So. I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to use a bit of trunking to try and give it a little bit more life. Let's get started. So first things first, we want to find out exactly what size we want to cut this piece of trunking down to. So in my case, I know it's going to be a relatively small piece. It's actually going to be 19 inches. So the next thing we want to do is measure our piece of trunking. 19 inches is what I said, so that is just there. I'm going to give it a nice straight line using this. I would imagine this isn't exactly necessary. As long as you cut with a straight line with your saw, I just find that that's going to help make the cut cleaner and straighter. So now I've simply marked it where it needs to be cut. I'm going to take a hacksaw that I've just gone and got from the garage and I'm going to cut straight down the line that I marked. There we go, job done. I've decided it might be worthwhile just to give it a bit of a file down, just to get that edge looking a little bit tidier than it was straight after being cut, but Yep, that's just the job that is. So, now I'm happy with the size it's been chopped down to. It's time to look at this piece of adhesive here that peels off nicely. Now I'm not going to take it all the way off now. I shall do it just as I uh, actually stick it to the wall. But that's what that is. So that's going to have the cable inside there. And that's going to be stuck to the wall like that. Now, this top piece here does actually just slide off like that. It can be prized off, but it's going to be easier to slide it off like that. I'm doing this one-handed, so I know that, that made it look a lot harder than it actually is. But now it's time to get that cable inside of there. So that's sliding back on the same way as it come off, obviously. That piece of adhesive that we looked at a second ago can now be pulled off like that and make sure we get it just where we want it and on we go now what i shall probably do as <laughs> i'm trying to protect it from a rabbit is actually possibly make another little piece there and make another piece there but i shall do that later on it really is as simple as that that is how you use a piece of trunking to protect wire or cable from a naughty little bugger like that. Thank you very much. 